Hey, YouTube, I'm back. Um, sorry for the long delay, but like, I've been making, I haven't been making videos lately because I couldn't find any software. Well, I could find some software, but I couldn't figure out how to record my screen, uh, my computer screen, and uh, so I could make uh, gaming videos for you guys. But so, I had this problem lately. My gun, M1911A1 airsoft gun, would not fire for some odd reason. I bought this gun from Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, and so I was trying to find videos on how to strip this down, in which I could not find any because all the other ones were just uh, were from Dick's Sporting Goods. It was from an uh, airsoft website, and where it was like gas powered and crap, and which was a like, completely different model. I found one video. And so right here, this little thing right here, which I thought had no use, on the back of it, if you push this, this will come out. And this is for all you people that uh that don't have that have no clue how to strip down an M1911 A1 airsoft gun. So what you do is, so you push this down, out. If you have trouble with, it, just get something to help. It's out. That came out. So now this is off. And so. Over here, there are two screws. You're going to need a screwdriver. Ugh. You're going to need a screwdriver and take out these screws. And you can pause the video to, um, you can pause the video so you can see what I'm doing and what I'm doing. So, the screws, I got one out. And so, you got to be careful over here. And um, and hold this down when you take out the last screw. Otherwise, it'll shoot out and you lose all the parts. It um, uh, it shot out last like the first time I put I took it out, and I almost lost all the pieces. So there are these two pieces that come out of here. Um, there's this piece right here. This is where the trouble is coming from. So what you do is you just pull this piece off. It won't snap, and there's this little metal rod that holds the um the shaft in. So what happens is, um, if your gun won't shoot, and it's, uh, because the gun is clogged, because, uh, uh, something that's not a bullet came in here, because, uh, a, ju a jewelry bead that I thought was a black, be um, plastic BB, and I loaded it into my gun, and it clogged up my gun, because it was long, it was, uh, larger than the shaft. So what you do is, uh, you need to get something that you can stick down here, and just push it right out. And, um, and if you want, you can get a Q-tip and clean out the inside of any residue that might be in there. So what you do is, pay close attention. So what you do is, you get the other piece that you had from it. Hold on, where is it? Where's, here's the metal rod. You need this piece and this piece. So what you do is, you put this piece... The shaft right back where it was. You put the metal rod in here where it was before. And make sure it goes through the other side. And then what you need to do, yep, yeah, there's going to be these little num, nubs over here. So you need those pointing this way. And you have to put it over. So, like, there's little um, ledges right here. And it has to go right there. So when you. Well, it has to go up like this. Hold on. Just to go up. Over like that. And now, you take this piece that you took out of here, and you put this back in here, and there's this little thing, and there's a little thing over here. You have to put it down there and have it go like that. Sorry if you can't see it too well. Because I'm recording my iPhone. Um, and so you take this piece that was on the spring, you put it like this, so like, it goes down the same shaft that, uh, that the piece went down, and then you take your, and you take the slider, you put it like this, you have to make it go down the, um, the little hole that's down here. Why do I have trouble with this part? I always have trouble with this part, I think it's cause it's this. Hold on, give me a minute. I need to take this part off. S sticker thing. I think that's what's causing the problem of not being able to put it back right. 
having troubles with it. The struggle. So what you do is this orange part has to go um there's a little guider over here. There's a little guider. And that orange part has to go down with the guider. So what you do is you put it in. Oh well, yeah, that was the problem. Alright, so you have to have that orange little tip over here go down the guider. And there you go. But now you need to get this part that came off of this. And you have to have it like this. And push it down. And hold it down with your thumb. And put one of the screws over here. And get your screwdriver and screw it back in. <coughs> and then you take the other one. You don't have to hold it with your thumb this time. But, I, uh, like, you don't have to, but sometimes it'll go up a little bit, and you have to push it down when you put the screw back in. Crap. Alright. So now your slider is back together. Slider is back together. There's a slider. You take your gun, like your handle of it. So what you do is, you take this part and you run it down over here, and slide it back. That little hole where you, um, it'll take a few times for you to get it right. And so the little hole over here, where you took this part out of, uh, you have to make the, have that lined up, and put it in, and have it the same place where you had it last time. And just put it in there. And if you, uh, and if it worked for you, because it works for me. And then my gun's good as new. It should be unclogged, and you should be good to go.